What have you seen out of the Tennessee run defense? Uh, just, just on film, I mean, the statistics show one side of the story, but what have you yeah. seen? I mean, they're physical, physical butts, and they're going to be, be tough against the run and do everything they can to try to stop it. And they're pretty dang good, in my opinion, at, at, of stopping it at times. So it'll be a big challenge for us. In terms of the signals you were talking about just now, I mean, is that kind of how you guys are operating on offense? All 11 guys know the signals and, and get it from the sideline? Correct, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the, uh, what would you say the level of confidence is, uh, given the lack of run game you ever produced against Alabama going into this? I mean, did that just show chinks kind of in the armor? Or no, I think there was some definitely bright points as far as the run game goes, and we're going to make a commitment to be uh, more diligent with running the football, and I think we'll be fine. We'll be good. Coach Rick talked about some of the simulation with uh, the crowd noise. Does that actually help? In practice, or does that just not even compare? It definitely helps, but it's going to be totally different on Saturday. You, know, you won't hear a word. I'll be standing right next to somebody and can't even uh, hear anything they're saying. So it helps out, but it'll be different on game day. Did you guys play Michigan last year in Wisconsin? We did not. You know, we did not. No big house comparison? No, no, not close. Not close. No Big Ten stuff. Um, we squeeze in there. During the game, I'm sure you don't pay much attention to necessarily, but when you look at how much work Keith has gotten this year, mm -hmm. I know, is he is he getting about as much as you expected, or, or you didn't really have any preconceived? I just never know. It depends on how the week is going, how the game is going, how those guys in front of him are going, and, and he's definitely working his butt off as all those guys are, and uh, I just want to make sure everybody's ready to go once their number's going to be called. You, you weren't here, but yeah, I guess you're familiar with this is the place where he last visited and his knee was... Right. Was shredded. What I mean, as a as a player, as a guy who's been through that kind of injury, does it? What do you think is going through his mind, or is it does it come up? I, mean, I think up? everybody's different. He hasn't said a word to me about it. I know. I mean, I tore my, my ACL against you know Vanderbilt, and I didn't think about you know the next year when we played him. It was like moving on, you know, new story. So he might be different, but he hasn't said a word to me about it. Any thoughts of? Uh... Martinez and Jancic guys that I guess were on staff when you played. Yeah, there. yeah. You know, Martinez was a DC and, and Jancic was a linebacker's coach. So great guys, man. Wish them the best of luck on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> do you really? Yeah, I do, always. I know this Saturday you do it, do you? I do. Good luck to them. <laughs> I do. Wish them good luck. No, they're great guys, though. And I talk to them from time to time. I see them on a the road recruiting. Yeah, so. Martinez has my area, so. And I, I've been up there one time before, so. Which area are you talking about? Recruit in Georgia, okay. Gwinnett and Cobb County. Okay. At least he was before. I'm not sure if he's still there, but yeah. I saw him in the spring one time. You probably know better than me. I don't know. You don't know. Recruiting guys something? Yeah. 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 Uh, Welch has been getting, I guess, a lot of work to yep. pull back. What does he bring to, to get that? I guess a lot of you know blocking situations yep. you know, where you're going to need a lead blocker. No question. I think uh, being consistent and being physical. I don't ask a bunch of those guys from a fullback standpoint except to, to know what to do, play with good technique and get great effort. He's done that. Uh, it's always going to be an open competition in every position that I'm involved with, so fullback and tailback. Uh, I tell guys all the time, if you don't like where you are, do something about it. I think he's done a really good job, in my opinion, since the spring of, of taking coaches, trying to change his body, getting in a better position to play, and uh, he's doing good so far. Do you know how close Christian is to I don't. Available? I don't. That'd be a coach great question. Clearly, he's... Clearly, Christian's really good at what you need. At the, oh, yeah. The he, he's a hammer. He's a, he does it, a great it's job. It's kind of maybe been underplayed that you lost. That he was number one and right. going into the season. Well, it's else. a very selfless position. And like I said before, you got to be a little wide a little bit differently, you know, to play that position down after down and go take on guys who are going to be bigger than you are and probably more athletic than you are uh, to fit those guys up. They, they all do a good job. You learn a little bit more about that position now that you're, you know, now that you're coaching it rather than – Back when you were behind those guys and they were blocking for you, I mean, is it, do you understand it a little bit better now that uh, it takes a different guy to do that no, job? I knew that then. All, <laughs> all the fullbacks I had were weird dudes. They were all, they were all straight. So, um, but I definitely understand some stuff better once you're a coach versus being a player. But uh, I think it's about the same. Did you have Southern? I did. Yep. Yeah, he, we he came in together. One of the best of all time. Yeah, yep, we came in together. He's pretty dang good. What, what, really what, athletic, what? very powerful. Did a really good job with pad level, fitting guys up, running his feet, all the stuff to try to coach. What do you mean by strange when you say that? Like, I mean, just... <laughs> it's a different mentality. I mean, like old linemen are. So, right. you know, be, for one, be selfless, but also just run yourself into a brick wall of defenders down at the down. And like I said, it just takes a big commitment level for a guy, uh, mentally and physically. Why is it so common that these guys are, are walk-ons? Um, and a Glenn is a converted I think it, I think it depends on what your philosophy is recruiting-wise. You can find so many guys who maybe Undersized linebackers in high school, undersized defensive yeah. ends, uh, move from different spots, O-linemen that are too small to, 
to get Stalas to come in and compete at that spot and, and be pretty dang good at it. Yeah, I mean, That's these guys are. These guys have been good and reliable. Oh yeah. Too. I mean, I know you haven't been here the last three right. or four years. Oh yeah. For the Merritt Hall. And we got to develop like those guys. Get a bunch of reps in practice because it's not a natural position um, to play. To play fullback is is really tough. I think people kind of overlook the fact that you're blocking a guy. Like I said before, who's going to outweigh you by 15 or more pounds, and also be able to move a lot better than you are. Because most times the fullback is on not on scholarship, and that, that linebacker normally is. 